I know myself and I know what I want. I told her, baby, you know what I'm on. Why I said, baby, I'm East Little Run. Hey, whoa. No side rider, DM slider, family and friends provider. What? Yes, I'm him, that ass too slim. I need that shit, little water. What? I'm with the O's and I'm with the crows and I'm with the real King Spider. What? Gang too wild up, I'm too fired up. She let me fucking the lie. Go get it one day, you can brag. I say that I have it, you know that I got it. No need to look all in the bag. Something like this, cause I work so hard. I'm the best, I only speak facts. In the store, I'm popping them tags. A limit of selling with stack. Clout chasing for the cash grab. I don't really want it that bad. Mistakes that my dad don't want me. What you say? Did you not just love me? In the grave, left my heart so coldly. I think I found another one. You better watch closely. Hey, hey, these are my memories. Hey, hey, this how I rest in peace. Wait, wait, you want my remedy? Stay, stay, stay. You want my melody? Yeah. Bro, these weird uh, people, bro. <laughs> bro. Where they got me at, bro? They got my fortune. Your mom says you don't like the money. No, you shut up. If I shoot you, nigga, not even he nigga, go shoot yourself. Light, but you missed. You're on my TikTok and it's you getting dead. annoying. While you're on my for you, then then block me. Don't so shut up. Don't block me. Shut up. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth when you talk to me, nigga. I'll fucking shoot you. Watch your mouth when you. You better hit you. you Look, I'm gonna hit your ass with this. Cause he will fucking actually hit your ass. <laughs> he gave me, bro. Pop, pop. I didn't even know he was in the bar. <laughs> in the bar, he reached his hand out like, like, huh? I didn't even know that was you. I thought that was Dill. <laughs> bro, why is she trying to hit me, bro? On God, bro. On God? Okay. Bah, bah. Fuck it, nigga. I love you. You better back up, bro. I love you. Man. Get off me. I don't love my little cousin no more. She. <laughs> you ever been hit? You ever been hit with a flashlight? Exactly, y'all mad for the game. I know. Don't touch my man. Don't touch my man. I'll piss with you right now. I'm my mama, nigga. I'm my mama. What the fuck is that? I hope you just don't fall. Bro, look, bro. We had to go through all that just to get over here, bro. They tripping, bro. They is tripping. He's definitely tripping, man. Ain't that right, Gray? Hell yeah, bro. Now we gotta walk down the jungle, bro. I'm saying, bro. Good thing we got a bathroom everywhere, though. Because I had to go back. So yeah. I just let it out right there. Don't step right there. Don't step right there, my boy. But I'm never coming with them again, bro. You're out here for two seconds. Bro, I'm saying. But it's weird, bro. No, that spot is chill, though. I would, I would have a kickback right there. I'm not going to I'll fix the floor and put some chairs and shit. I'll put a tarp over the roof. Put some lights. They're yelling at us to hurry up. You shouldn't have left us. I'm not trying to get bitten by poison ivy. Mm. There we But I'll show y'all when we get to the next spot. They'll want us to go in. Like we Tarzan. You not Tarzan, man. But yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> crazy story, bro. I promise y'all. Y'all just got to lock in for this story. Lock in, lock in, lock in. So after, um, I told y'all we were going to a second part of the woods. I don't know if I said that in a clip or not. But we were supposed to be going to the second part of these woods, right? These woods. Um, and she wanted to go through these woods with an open field and a cabin in the middle of the field. Something in my gut told me not to go to this field. But she kept insisting on going to the field. And I'm a big cousin, so I like to make my little cousin happy. So I was like, okay, we can go there, Dale and I, I guess. Then, on the way there, I... Um, I stopped and I was about to eat cheesecake and my titi was like, okay, you need to go and protect them because there's something weird going on with this trailer back there. So I see the trailer and I see it moving and moving and moving. So I'm like, okay, my gut's telling me, let's get out of here, AJ. But Dylan's insisted on going and going and going. So I'm just sitting there. I'm just lost in my thoughts. I don't know what I'm doing. I hear the door open and somebody yell. I'm like, Dylan, Nevaeh. Ugh, Nevaeh, my bad. I got the girl's name wrong. We need to go. We need to go. And Gray was with us too. We need to, we need to dip. We, we, we got to go. So me and Nevaeh, we take off running. Grayson and Dylan are just back there just lollygagging. And then the man comes out, starts yelling at Dylan and Gray. 
this man has on blue gloves, full body stuff. Um, and the trailer was just weird. It was a whole a trailer connected. There are a whole bunch of wires connected to the trailer. Everything just in this little corner covered by bushes. With like the little thing, the custodian drive. I'll pop up the two pictures I'm talking about. I'll try to find a picture of the trailer if I find... Not a picture of the trailer, but like a kind of a trailer that was kind of like it. Um, but I'll pop that up on the screen um, so y'all boys can see it. You feel me? But, like, something was just telling me not to go to this place. And Dylan was just assisting on it. So he comes out. He's yelling, yelling, yelling. I run in the house. I'm, sc I'm scared. I'm not going to lie to y'all, boys. I'm scared. I am so scared right now. So the whole time I'm, like, being scared, I, I black out. Um, if y'all don't know, I have mixed personality disorder. So my other personality came out. I grabbed a bat, apparently. And, um... I was just, like, trying to protect my little cousin and protect Dylan and protect Nevea that was there. Um, <sighs> this is the part that irritates me every time I say it and just makes me cry because you know there's evil people like this in this world. And I just don't know why they're evil like this. He told my little cousin, you better shut up for I put something in your mouth. Um, he was either talking about a pew pew or his penis. Um, so I'm ready to go beat, his, beat him in with the baseball bat. And Dylan, my TT, and everybody pushes me back. Like, no, AJ, you can't do this. Da, da, da. They surround me. They take the bat from me. Um, we call the cops. The cops go back there and investigate. Me and Gray, we have to leave. So we leave after we give our witness statement. And now we're just waiting on updates. But that's why we didn't show no second part of the whole exploring. Um, after that, my day was pretty much over and ruined. So, yeah, that's it. For, for the little story time but let's get back to the video peace bye wow. <laughs> i'm just playing but y'all heard that wild story time i'm editing right now i edit through the week so i might be editing this one and another clip y'all see i don't know but um i forgot to tell y'all i'm i started a clothing brand um a christian clothing brand it's called i am a child of god um Basically, I'm just going to show y'all what we got. So, after that, I'll talk more about it. Peace. And Child of God presents their new clothing line. Right here, we have the hoodie with the verse on the back, the cross on the front. Right here, we have a shirt with Child of God on the back and the praying hands on the front. And right here, we have the sweatpants, Jesus is face on one side crosses on the pocket on the back right here we have a one of the two beanies with the roses and the cross and right here we have the yes sir beanie yes sir let me know if y'all like it yeah okay so y'all just seen the the sweatpants the hoodie the shirts the two beanies and the logo of i am child of god um basically i decided to start this brand because I want a lot of people, a lot of people out there want to represent their Christianity by wearing clothes because that's how they express themselves. But there's not really a lot of Christian clothing brands out there. There is, but not like streetwear, not like things like, not like overly Christian. You feel me? Like people want to wear Christian things, but not overly Christian things. And I feel like that's what I'm striving to achieve with my brand. Like the Yes Sir Beanie. Like you, you would, if a normal person that's not really into God looked at that, they would never know on they would never know. They would never know what that meant, what that is, nothing. They would just be like, oh, that's a cool beanie, bro. Those are cool sweats. I mean, it has Jesus on it and then the cross is on the back pocket, but still at the end of the day, you can just rock these with anything. You don't have to rock it with another Christian thing on top of it or, 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 or shoes that are not things. Um, we're looking to invest in shoes and starting a shoe brand with the I'm Child of God, so I'm Child of God sneaker line. Sweat line, streetwear line, anything, any line out there that's available, we want to put Christianity to it and make it our own brand. All these designs are myself, myself and my team, and my managers all approved of these designs. So I really hope y'all guys like it. This is my first time, you know, just pow, right out there. Um, Wednesday, I am rapping at church, so y'all will see a video of that. We have baseball trials tomorrow, which is... Tuesday, so today is a win. I mean, uh, today is a Monday. We have trials Tuesday and Wednesday, so I'll let y'all know the result of that. If I can film a little bit of the trial, I will film a little bit of it. To, uh, but I will make sure to tell y'all how I did after the trial. 
You feel me? And I know what y'all are saying. Did you break your camera? Did you break your camera? No, I did not break my camera. It's just when I'm editing, it's easier to just pull my phone out and record it and then airdrop it to me instead of having to do all these things and pull out all these different things. But we're getting back on the camera grind soon. Don't worry. Don't worry. Do not worry. I didn't get a camera for no reason. Sometimes it's easier to film on the iPhone. Learned that tip from Paul Cafaro. But yeah, basically I hope y'all like the clothing brand. Feel me if you want to order. DM me on Instagram, Snapchat. Add me on Snapchat. Um, yeah, just let me know. All my socials are in my link, my link tree, my link bio. Um, on my page, if you go to my page, you'll have a little link. You can click all my socials and every podcast, my podcast, my music, everything. Oh, that's also another thing I forgot to tell you. Me and Gray are starting a podcast called Confidently Funny. Um, the podcast is going to be about being confident in yourself. It's going to be like a fun energy around. Um, and we're basically going to tell y'all how to be confident in yourself and how to like love yourself, basically, and have a relationship with God. Yes, there is going to be a little Christian aspect to that, but... Hope y'all guys can forgive me. I'm a Christian. What do you expect? Every chance I get to talk about Jesus, I'm going to talk about Jesus. I told y'all that there's going to be a step in this next chapter. And there's a step. So, boom. I don't want to just, like, flip the script and completely just, like, flirt y'all with Christianity, which I won't. There will be sections in Christianity. But if you don't go to church, I highly recommend you do because church has saved my life many times. God has saved my life many times. In 2017, when I lost my sister, when I was in that car accident, I was two seconds away from, I buckled in my seatbelts two seconds later, boom, car accident. I could have been dead, but God protected me because I have a sole purpose on this earth. And I do not know what the sole purpose is that God's given me, but whatever God gave me, I'm going to achieve. Making my mom proud, I'm going to achieve. Making my sister proud, I'm going to achieve. Making my grandmas proud, I'm going to achieve it, I promise you. I'm going to achieve this YouTube. I'm going to the Air Force. I'm going to be an orca trainer. It's just, it's just what it is. That's my future. Getting married, having a beautiful family, treating my family, spoiling my family, everything. That's what it is going to be, no matter what. But, yeah. Peace. Um, whatever clips is next will be next, but peace. Y'all know we got to do every, we got to do those every once in a while. <laughs> Can you guys say hello? <laughs> but um that's pretty much it for today's video. For me. Um I hope y'all boys enjoyed it. For me, I always do my outro when I'm editing because I don't know when I'm gonna stop and when I'm ready to post this video, but this video is being posted on Saturday at 1030 like I always post unless I tell y'all I'm posting on a different day, but it's being posted today. Um I have Two newses for y'all. Two newses? Two, two. I made the baseball team varsity. Let's go! Um, I'm going to a convention thing this weekend, so I will be recording there. And then next weekend, I'm supposed to be going to Disney again. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Disney! I love Disney. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Peace. Hope y'all boys enjoyed it. Roll my head. You can get the cash. Hey. Oh, you didn't have to have the food.